Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are back on Ark building an ocean campground, a multi-structured area based around the ocean inlet on the southwestern side of the island. This campground will have multiple buildings on both sides of the inlet, with a large main building serving as the hub of the campground. Firstly, we're going to start off building the large camp house in the centre of the campground. This is going to be the main point of focus for this build video. We'll start off with a 5x5 base plate. The front 5x1 strip facing the actual ocean inlet itself is dedicated to a porch area of sorts, which later I'll connect to a bridge that spans across the river, but we'll get to that when we come to it. Next are the walls and pillars. I place pillars in the corners of the build using fence foundations and also some pillars out on the porch area to support the roof overhang that I'd later do. When the pillars were up, I then moved onto the walls placing a door at the front and back left of the build and mirroring windows on the centre two tiles of the left and right walls and on either side of the front and back walls. I did try a couple of things that didn't work out here which you'll probably see little snippets of in the video but eventually it came out as I've just described which you'll soon see. Next up of course was the roof, using sloped wooden sides and regular wooden walls. I've built up the sides to then mount a thatch roof on top of. As I've said in many build videos before, thatch is a really weak material, but aesthetically it goes really well with wood, that's why I've chosen it. This roof ended up coming out as a flat sloped apex, which I then also extended out over the porch area as I mentioned before, which looks to be supported by the pillars I placed earlier. This finished off the camp house building, leaving the bridge and surrounding cabins to build. Okay, so next up was the bridge. This was, well, troublesome to say the least, but I ended up doing the following. I placed three foundations just below the front of the camp house and extended this out to a 2x3 of foundations, then further going on and extending the platform out with some stone ceilings. I anchored this bridge with pillars every other block underwater. Seeing as the inlet area has some very fiddly underwater clipping, it's much easier to just let the pillars actually all poke through the bridge and use them to, say, mount light sources on later, seeing as it's near impossible to actually stop the pillars from poking through due to the errant clipping in this area. I ran this bridge to the other side of the inlet and down onto stone foundations. I also then covered the foundations on both sides with stone ceilings to make the entire bridge level. In retrospect, it would have been much easier to run the bridge out from the camp house itself, supporting it with pillars every other block. However, I didn't think of this at the time because I'm stupid. I later put torches and railings on the bridge. And for the final part of the construction, I built cabins on either side of the inlet, placing two on the side of the camp house and three on the opposite side across the bridge. These cabins are all of very slightly different size and design, but at the core they are all designed to hold at least two beds, some storage and a table and chairs. These are the most basic amenities campers would need, with more advanced facilities like bathrooms, a kitchen and a large group meeting place which will be located in the main camp house later on. All of these cabins were built with the formula of stone foundations, wooden walls, window frames, doorways and such, and thatch roofing coming to either a peaked apex or a flat sloped apex depending again on the size. You can really build these to whatever specification you feel like, I just really built them how I felt like so, you know, free ball it. Finally when all the base construction was done it's time to of course then furnish. Approaching the main camp house and entering through the front door, the house is split into three main sections. On the close right we have the group gathering area in front of the stone fireplace. It's designed as a warm and welcoming area to spend a little bit of time with friends. Heading out of the meeting area and going into the second corridor on the right we have the kitchen. Whilst this area is quite narrow and can actually feel quite claustrophobic at times, it provides the necessary implements for providing food for the campers. As with most of my builds here, the camp house is designed to be simple enough to modify the design if you prefer, so you could easily make a more expansive kitchen if you wanted to. And finally at the back of the house we have stalls containing the modern wonder of indoor plumbing. Seeing as the cabins in the surrounding area don't have toilets, the camp house will serve as kind of a communal bathroom area for all campers. The entire camp house is lit with standing torches throughout the build, providing a pleasant warm glow at night without being overpowering. 
The bridge has been decked out with stone railings and I've also placed standing torches atop the supporting pillars in the middle, lighting up the bridge at night and also giving a bit more of a distinct purpose to the pillars rather than just decoration. I connected the bridge to the camp house with a ramp but it would have been much easier to just start the bridge from the camp house foundations, so do consider that if you are building this. Finally the cabins, there's not too much to see here. Each is of a different size but contains relatively the same amenities, with larger cabins offering of course more space for campers, but with all cabins of course offering a roof over the head of campers, along with storage space for their possessions, a table and chairs, and indoor heating via standing torches. And finally a look at the campground at night. The build looks warm and welcoming from a distance, and when you're actually at the camp it's well lit without being too overpowering, maintaining a nice ambience to the lighting. And there we have it, the Ocean Campground. Thanks for watching, if you've enjoyed this video do go ahead and drop a like, and let me know what build you'd like to see me construct next in the comments below. Don't forget to check out the channel whilst you're there as well, I upload art content regularly along with the many build videos I've already published, along with content for other games such as Friday the 13th, Rainbow Six Siege and more, so don't forget to subscribe to be the first to see the next video. Again thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.